Welcome back, True Seeker. It's Black History Month, and in the headlines, Aston Barrett, the bassist of the Whalers, Bob Marley's world-famous group, has passed away at age 77, and this comes just days before the film One Love releases, the film about Bob Marley and the Whalers. And I want you to see what's more than likely not a coincidence. Again, if you're new here, please look into the song Murder by Numbers by the Police, where killing is the sport of the elected and it's as simple as ABC is one, two, three. And look into the song Gematria, the killing name. Gematria is the Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words. And here's what Gematria reveals about this death. He died February 3rd, the 34th day of the year. The film that's about to release is called One Love, which equates to 34. And he died 11 days before its Valentine's Day release. In Gematria, the word black equates to 11 when you run the alphabetic order forwards, and the word black equates to 34 when you run the alphabetic order in reverse. So he's dead in Black History Month 11 days before One Love hits theaters. Furthermore, he was a Rasta, and just like Bob Marley. And notice how in Gematria, forwards and backwards, slave, negro, Rasta, blues, they all equal 59 forwards, 76 in reverse. Of course, Black History Month was recognized by the feds in 1976. Black History Month typically ends on the 59th day of the year. And in the Bible, as Bob Marley sang about so much, Ephesians 6, 5 through 9 are the verses about slavery. And in Acts 7, 6, you have one of the most infamous verses about slavery as well within the Bible. Black History Month was recognized by the feds on February 10th in the year 76, a date that can be written 10 slash 2 like 102. Notice how whalers and slavery both have that gematria of 102. And for one other familiar pattern, Aston Barrett has died 73 days after his birthday. Ritual sacrifice equates to 73 when you take the alphabetic order with numerology. The word sacrifice alone equates to 73 when you just take the alphabetic order. And you could also say he died on his 74th day of his age. Bob Marley's solo career began in 1974. The surname Marley equates to 74 like London where he began recording. Of course, English also equals 74 like Gematria, like Killing, like Occult, like Masonic, and the list goes on. But if you're new here, 73 and 74, huge numbers around celebrity death. And again, sacrifice is part of the uh, entertainment industry. And you know Bob Marley was one a long time ago. The whole story about him getting some foot disease while playing football, that's a load of BS. So, Some other things that might be behind the riddle of him dying on the 34th day of the year, the word marijuana equals 34. They're Rastas, they smoke. Cannabis is the real name. Marijuana is the government name. Murder also has that gematria 34. But yes, RIP to Aston Barrett, who's gone at age 77, corresponding with theater. Again, the film's about to hit theaters and to read a little bit it says aston family man barrett basis for bob marley and the whalers has died at age 77 the news was confirmed on saturday by olivia grange jamaica's minister for culture who wrote on x i share with you my deep regret at the passing of aston francis barrett popularly known as family man or fams he died at the university of miami hospital in florida in the united states early this morning barrett was born in 46 Sacrifice equals 73 with the alphabetic order. It equals 46 with numerology, like Genesis 46 is about sacrifice. Again, ritual sacrifice is 73 with numerology. And he grew up in Kingston, where he would help lay the foundations for reggae and dub. As a child, he sang along to soul music on the radio before switching over to the bass. He built his first bass guitar from scratch using plywood, a curtain rod, and an old ashtray. In a 2007 interview with Bass Player Magazine, he said, When I'm playing the bass, it's like I'm singing. I compose a melodic line and see myself like I'm singing baritone. So, again, RIP to Aston Barrett, who looks like, you know, he, he's the latest sacrifice for showbiz. 
And it's sick to think about how much money Hollywood will make off this film. And, um, you know, how the main person it's about, he didn't get to live all that long of a life. We'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. Until next time.